Well, welcome back to another one. Today's video, uh, I've been getting quite a few messages on either Facebook or Instagram or even just in the YouTube comment section. And I got a couple reasons, I, I know a few reasons why I'm getting these because of the whole logistical nightmare that is uh, our supply chain right now. And that question is, what is the best sonar unit on the used market? Now I'm gonna break down a few different price points. A lot of these questions are you know, about first time fish finders, so people that haven't bought a, a sonar unit before. So I'm, I'm gonna try and tailor this towards that 300 to $600 range, but there's some still pretty good nine, 10 inch screens that you can get for under a thousand bucks. When it comes to the secondary markets, I probably would just stick to Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace, or sometimes on the Facebook groups, um, like the, there's a crappie fishing tackle for sale or something like that. I think I'm part of one of those groups, but uh, when it comes to eBay, I haven't had the best luck. Some people might have really good luck with eBay. I personally haven't, so I'd probably shy away from eBay. So since I do kind of prefer Garmin products, we're gonna just start with Garmin. Don't worry, I'll work through Lowrance and Humminbird here in a second. The reason I'm probably gonna start with Garmin is because they have come out with brand new models that have either changed the unit themselves, like the head units, or they've changed a the transducer. And the reason that's important is Typically the following year, Garmin themselves will actually have a sale on the brand new unit. So for the past, I think three or four years, the Echo Map series, um, the UHD, like the 7.3 SV or the 9.3 SV, they've gone on sale for like $300 off or $400 off. Those units on the used market, you can probably discount another 100 to 200 bucks. And uh, they're really quality units. So the Echo Map 7.3 SV, I actually found one in my local area of the Twin Cities area. And I think it was listed for $4.99. So for that unit, it's a seven inch unit, touch screen, um, full eight UHD, so it's got the full mega imaging. Um, I think it came with the GT56 transducer actually, instead of the older GT54. I'm not, I'd have to double check though, I'd have to look. But any type of those touch screen units that Garmin has, if you can find them for 500 bucks or less, those are really, really good units. The Echo Map series, even the Echo Map Plus, which is, I think those came out in like 2016, 2017, maybe a little bit, a little bit earlier. Um, those units are still quality units. They don't have the mega imaging, but for a nine inch touch screen to have the full capability of mapping side imaging, down imaging, 2D sonar. Garmin calls it side view and clear view. That is something that I think tricks the people a little bit. Make sure you understand the numbers or the letters um, on the sonar unit themselves. So if you're looking up the Garmin units, if it says SV, that stands for side view, which means it's got side imaging. If it has CV, that means clear view. That means it only has down imaging. Anything with SV has side view or side imaging, down imaging, 2D sonar, and it should have mapping. Um, the only series that I think might not have mapping is the Garmin Striker series, but even those are some pretty good units and you can find them used for like 300, 350 bucks, like a seven inch screen, the Striker 7SV. Um, so those are really quality units that you probably can get for under 600 bucks. And if they're only a year or two old, I mean, they're probably still in pretty good shape. You typically want to stay with units that are probably after 2014, 2015. They've been, they were made after that. Um, you get too far back in time. The mapping probably isn't great on units pre-2014. It's probably okay, but it's not what today's mapping systems are. Um, the 2D sonar, it's probably just like a dual function uh, transducer where it's 83 kilohertz, 200 kilohertz. There's no chirp functionality. The down imaging and side imaging is probably just one frequency. I'm gonna guess it was 455. You probably can't even adjust it. Um, there's some units that I wouldn't shy away from. Well, we're gonna talk about Humminbird here in a second. And there's some units that only have the one frequency that I, I wouldn't shy away from it. But for the Garmin's, I would really look at the Echo Map series, the Echo Map Plus and the Echo Map UHD series, both the 7.3 SV and the 93 SV. Um, those are probably gonna be your best bang for your buck when it comes to used sonar units. You can probably get them. You might be able to negotiate down for like 350 bucks to $500 range. And these are units that retail wise, I think they sell anywhere from like 750 to a little over a thousand bucks. So I, I, for Garmin, those are the kind of the units that I'd really look at. You can look at the Striker series, but the Striker series doesn't really have the mapping unless it was bought with the built-in Navionics and that's like an add-on, so that's not guaranteed. 
um, but you can look at the Striker series. Since I did mention Hummingbird, let's talk about Hummingbird. Um, any of the Helix models, like even, even the Gen 1s, I have a Gen 1 still and I'm probably going to sell it. Um, it's a Helix 9 first generation, basic side imaging, there's no mega imaging functionality, um, but it came with a built-in Navionics mapping, uh, 2D functionality, down imaging, side imaging. Like it was just a solid unit. You guys probably saw it on my boat. I've had it on my old boat, not this brand new one. Uh, well, new to me boat. Um, but I had it on my old boat for probably three or four years. Worked great. Um, I have a bunch of Navi or, uh, Lake Masters mapping cards. That's the cool thing about the Humminbird series. It can take both Navionics chips and Lake Masters chips. And I do have a bunch of Lake Masters cards that I think might, if I do sell it, I'll just sell everything. Um, but the older Humminbird Helix models, you probably can get like a Helix 7 or a Helix 9 for under that $500 mark. Um, the Helix 5s, the problem with the Helix 5s is people love them. So any older Helix 5s that were SI had the little plus sign in GPS, meaning it had side imaging and GPS. And anything that has side imaging, again, also has down imaging and 2D sonar. So the Helix 5 SI GPS was a high demand unit. I could not find one in my local uh, Facebook marketplace or Craigslist. So if you do find one and you can scoop it up for like 350 bucks, maybe 400 bucks, you might be able to talk them down to 300, um, even if it's an older model. But uh, I don't see them probably giving it away for more than for less than 300 bucks if it has side imaging, down imaging, 2D, and GPS. Some of those Helix Fives and even the Helix Seven and Helix Nine. Again, they don't have all the capabilities, so make sure you understand Humminbird, if it has SI, stands for side imaging. If it has DI, it stands for down imaging. If it has sonar, the word sonar and GPS, it just has 2D sonar and GPS. So it doesn't have down imaging, doesn't have side imaging. Um, as you work your way up, so if it has down imaging, it will have down imaging and 2D sonar, and it better say GPS on, on the screen as well. It's got SI, it's got side imaging, down imaging, 2D sonar, and it should have GPS as well. So just be careful when you're on Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, understand what you're buying. Make sure you ask questions. Does it have mapping? Does it have side imaging, down imaging, 2D sonar? And they should be able to plug it into a battery. I actually recently took off uh, two Lowrance units that actually came with this boat. And we're gonna talk about Lowrance here in a second. Um, and I was able to plug those in for the buyer to make sure to let him see, yep, it's got mapping, it's got side scan, down scan, 2D sonar. Um, as for the Humminbird, there's probably one model or one series of model that I would go back to pre-2015, pre-2014. And that is the uh, 787 or 789. There, there's a bunch of different sizes. There's like 7, 9, and 11 inch screens, but they had CI on them. Now that's a basic side imaging, down imaging. It's one frequency. Uh, my uncle has it on his Lund, and honestly, you could probably buy them for like 200 bucks, 250 bucks. It's they're not the greatest, and if they got built-in Humminbird mapping, it's probably pretty good for the for the time that it was. Um, and I think it has an auto chart live feature where you can actually create your own chart. I could be wrong on that, but those you could probably get under 300 dollars. You're probably looking at a seven inch screen if you're going under 300 bucks. The nine and 11 inch screens, I think it's like the 1199 CI and the 989 or the 899. I don't remember all the numbers on them. So those units you'd probably be able to get for at least $100 less than any older Helix unit. Um, but you know, if, if you're looking in that $500 price range or 400, you might be able to pick up a Helix 5, Helix 7 with side imaging and GPS. Um, if you're looking under 400, I'd probably try to find one of those older Humminbird 787 CIs or the 898 CIs. Uh, they had side imaging, they had down imaging, 2D sonar and mapping, but they're probably good enough for what for what most of you are probably looking for. Now, I did sell my Lowrance's on here, uh, so we're going to talk about Lowrance. In terms of Lowrance, the Hook series is pretty good overall, um, and I think the older Lowrance Hook series, you could have a, a SD card or a micro SD card. So you can put a Navionics chip in there and put your mapping and update your mapping. Um, on this boat, I had a Lowrance Elite series and a Lowrance HDS 7, I think they were. I never used them. Uh, I, as soon as I bought the boat, I took them off and put these Garmin's on. But 
anything in the second gen is probably what you're gonna find on Facebook and Craigslist that's probably under that $500 price point. I had a Lowrance HDS7 and a Lowrance, uh, I think they're both HDS7s. One was a, a touch screen, one was a non-touch screen. And they were actually wired together or you know, ethernet cable together and there was only one transducer. And so I actually sold it as a package. I sold it for 550 bucks, 600 bucks, something like that, which guy got a pretty good deal. Two sonar units, one transducer it had, and it was the structure scan transducer. So it was the high dollar one. Um, I think they're like $400 transducers. So heat side scan, down scan, 2D sonar, mapping on both of them. So pretty good deal for him. I just, I didn't have room in my garage to keep all this stuff. So I wanted to clear some clutter. Um, but the Lowrance units, the Hook series, probably going to be your cheapest uh, on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace. Just make sure it says triple shot, meaning it will have side scan, which is what Lowrance uses for side imaging. Down scan, again, down imaging, which is what Lowrance uses. 2D sonar, and it might have mapping. Not all of them have mapping. You probably want to test it out. Um, and then just make sure if it doesn't have mapping, it has a micro SD card slot. Make sure you, the seller uh, shows you that. And then you can always update the mapping. Buy an avionics chip, slide it in there, get yourself some mapping. As far as the Lowrance Elite series or the HDS series, the second gens are probably going to be your more affordable. Again, $400 to $600 range, but you're looking at five to seven inch screens. Um, they're quality units but make sure those say SS, so side scan. I believe it's what it said on the back. If you're looking for 10 inch screens or you know something bigger, you're probably gonna spend at least 800 on a used marketplace. And again, you know, you're talking, your Garmin units are probably gonna be the, the Echo Map Ultra units. I don't know if you're gonna get much of a discount on those because they just came out three, two or three years ago. Um, you could probably pick up something like this is the GPS map unit, GPS map 1042 XSV. You might be able to pick something like that up for under a thousand bucks. Um, as far as your hummingbirds go, your Helix 10s, you might be able to find some Gen 1s or Gen 2s for under a thousand. Uh, but typically anything built after 2015, it's got pretty good mapping. Um, and, it's got, and if it has the full side imaging, down imaging, 2D sonar package, it's not gonna lose its value too much if it's a bigger screen. If it's a 10 or 12 or 15 inch screen, it's gonna hold its value pretty well until we get three or four more years down the road. And then you might be able to get $400 off or something like that. But uh, if, for those of you that were asking, it seemed like you're asking for like that $400 to $600 price point. So hopefully this video kind of helped you out uh, understanding what you should be looking for and making sure you understand the unit that you're buying. Making sure you understand the little letters uh, whether it's SI and DI for side imaging, down imaging, Garmin is the SV, side view, uh, CV for clear view, which is down imaging, and then Lowrance is SS or DS, side scan, down scan. So make sure you understand that when you're, you're researching your, whatever you're looking at, and then make sure the person you're, that's selling it can at least plug it into a battery, make sure it turns on, um, click some buttons, go to different pages views, and uh, typically on a lot of these units, the bigger units like these, it'll show you the amount of runtime. I know the Humminbird Helixes definitely had that. Just go to their settings screens and it shows you how many hours uh, of runtime that unit had. Some of the smaller units might not be able to do that, but hopefully this unit helps. If you've got any comments or questions uh, about buying used sonar, post in the comment section below or you can message me on either Facebook or Instagram. I always appreciate hearing from you and hopefully this video helps you out when it comes to buying used sonar this summer.